colors interior exterior and no more about this car while we're driving going to Hyena Island Florida, Florida. okay so that was fun and quick was you know at a hundred bucks you know, 80 bucks 90 bucks and after fees would be like a hundred ten hundred twenty right? so you know I've been talking to this guy for weeks but I've never been able to set up a time to pick it up until now it's okay you just gotta work with people turbo version of the Hyundai Veloster as she said it's the quicker and the more fun of the two the last that you can buy. Now this is the kind of car that you buy and you kind of choose between, you know, do I get a Volkswagen Golf, a GTI, do I get a Ford Focus ST, do I get a Ford Fiesta ST, or something along those uh, lines. So of course I rented this on Turo for a day just to have a little bit of fun because I don't have anything fun in my driveway yet. For my brief hour and a half of driving this car so far it's pretty good it's peppy it's quick it's a stick shift which i enjoy because i'm a car guy and i like having more control of you know, my driving um driving wise the car is smooth they got six gears it goes through each gear like butter it's fantastic i know the guy said he put a new clutch in here that's probably why So of course, that's I guess that's probably why it's so smooth. Regardless, I would assume this car is smooth because it only has 17,932 miles. Quality-wise inside of the car, everything is very tight. No squeaks, no rattles for the most part. Um, a lot of plastic, of course. You know, you're not buying a Mercedes or a BMW, but it looks like good quality. It doesn't feel cheap, and um, I don't mind it at all. Now, from the outside, of course, the unique thing about this car and that is it has three doors on my wife's side where she's recording from there's two doors but on my side there's actually only one oh, that's the kind of unique thing about this car the rumor was at least from what i was told by somebody else is that you know for for car insurance companies if it's two doors uh you know your insurance will be higher because it's, it's considered a sports car but with three doors Mm -hmm. <laughs> your insurance would be lower because it's not a sports car technically but if you look at it on this side it looks like it only has two doors uh, man it's really designed this car is made for younger people you know in their 20s who want to have a little bit of fun um, so you know for that for what that's worth um, I haven't checked the insurance rates so I can't confirm but nonetheless uh, from the outside this car actually looks really good it looks much better than its first generation um, than the first model they came out with, you know, you know, five, six years ago. Um, it looks, I'd say all the Hyundais nowadays look better than they used to. So that in, in that area, I think most people would agree that this car is a good looking car. Um, now in terms of price, uh, you can get this car, this is a 2020 model, you can probably get it in the mid 20s, uh, with like 20, 30, 40,000 miles. Um, for the turbo version, if you get the non-turbo, you can probably save five, six thousand dollars off the, you know, off the price. Um, and in 2021, I couldn't find any you know, standard turbos for sale. What I did find for sale was the Hyundai Veloster Turbo, or the things called the Hyundai Veloster Turbo N Edition, which is pretty much their top-of-the-line performance edition cars. And um, without showing you it, you know, right now. 
Uh, the difference I could make out kind of immediately is that in the back, uh, the exhaust pipes are not together, but kind of apart on you know, both both ends of the back. So there's dual exhaust pipes, but they're not together. They're kind of separated. And, um, and there's going to be end badging all over the car. Anyway, that right there you can get brand new for in the mid-30s at the moment. Probably closer to 40s if you get uh, $40,000 if you get the one with like all the bells and whistles. Um, so, do I recommend this car personally? I don't own it, but from driving it just now, briefly, I'd say yeah. If uh, you want something that won't break the budget that's good on gas, that can probably haul a family around without a problem. You know, there's two there's two back seats in the back. Um, they're not that big, but if you have a kid, it's a good place to put them. Um, yeah, there's definitely a car to get. It's gonna keep your insurance low, I would say. Your gas budget low. And it's gonna put a, put a smile on your face when you're driving it. <laughs> Especially if you're into uh, driving a stick shift. Yes, and the interior is also nice, very neat. As what he said, it's plastic but quality one. And I really love the dashboard. I preferred having a um, digital speedometer in the middle and I really love it. Yeah. Also this navigation stuff. Yeah. You got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay is built in. That's why, that's what I have right now is Android Auto. That's cool. Oh, we're here? That's pretty. I feel like I'm in Mexico right now. <laughs> Look at that. You're looking at something. So yeah, I love this car. The seat, it's not leather, but, but it feels good. it's comfy. If I thought now it's leather and then they just put a cover in it. And it's very neat. Look at that. I like it. It feels very smooth when you rub it with your hands. <laughs> yeah. And the usual or basic, uh, basic interior stuff of this car. The light, of course. Mirrors are here, and pretty big compartment. Regular, regular size. And what else we can say about the interior? I can't, I can't say much really. The back compartment. I would say it's not a very comfortable car. It's it is stiff, you know. Like it's uh, they can feel all the bumps. Uh, but you know, it's it's a small car with a short wheelbase, and uh, we don't have you know fancy comfort tires. We got sporty tires in this car, so that's why. You know, that's why. But even, you know, even, that's to be expected. Yeah, because even um, at my the sports car, the Chevy Camaro. It feels stiff when I drive it, and yeah, but it's fast too. Anyway, that's that. We are here in Pine Island and going to the pier. To the pier. Yeah. Pine Island. Here we come.
box. Look at the back. How can you open it? The back. Here. Cool. It reminds you of my hometown, right? This place. A little bit. I do. Now look, there's a bird there. So yeah, it's the Pine Island over there. There's also beach. There are some store and it's the village neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. And then we just bring the car here for fun.